Hey guys, k 3 Cell here, back at you with another What Sold video, sort of week 23 of 2023. Starting out with some small eBay sales and we'll rack up to the best eBay sale at the end of this clip. This little guy, it's a spider, squeeze a mole, squeeze a mole for 10 bucks. <laughs> I've had it for a while, got it at dirt cheap for like a dollar or two. Uh, it was a Claire's exclusive at one point, but dirt cheap buys out stores like that. So got the got maybe a dollar or two in profit on that. Not a great way to start it, but it'll get better, I promise. Amazon Clinic the Cow for around 13 plus shipping. Might break even on him. Shouldn't have bought him, but he's already mine at this point. A good Amazon sale. Felton the Cat sold for 45 plus shipping. Paid five bucks for him at one point. It'll ship first class, six bucks for this thing. Gene the Octopus. Um, I'm probably going to break even on this one as well. Sold for like 20 plus shipping. It only cost 7 bucks to ship it via UPS. I don't know why Amazon's all of a sudden so cheap on UPS. And I'm doing the right dimensions, like 14. This is 14 inch Squishmallow by 10 by 9, I think, or something like that. So it's the right dimensions. Uh, just super cheap right now. I'm not going to complain though. Griella the Cow. Just sold this one in the last video y'all saw. But sold the other one for 38 plus shipping. Probably paid 16 for that one. Another Amazon sale. This little Axolotti. Jalen is this one's name sold for 60 bucks or so plus shipping good sale there as well and last but not least on Amazon this little guy Benny the Squishmallow graduation just sold him as well he sold for 60 bucks or 65 plus shipping on Amazon graduation right now he's gone up in value got him at Walmart for 11 bucks last year around graduation time so yeah still had a couple left figured I'd go in and make some more money on him some more eBay sales well this is Mercari actually these mag constructs are 55 bucks. It's blind packs. Probably paid a dollar each for those. This little guy got him in a thrift store for a dollar, sold for $10.99. So not much profit, but still some. I got this at the bins in Mobile last time I went there. Brave Star jeans sold for like 50 or 55 bucks. They will fit in a flat rate envelope. So yay for making shipping cheap. And oh yeah, almost forgot all these video games that I sold. I finally got around to testing and listing some video games that I'd had forever. Uh, yeah, most of these came out of storage units. Um, that's where usually the best way to get these is, for me at least. Mario and Luigi. And these are put in some kind of mylars. I just got, out of a store I just got these mylars out of a storage unit. I figured they're perfect for video games. Uh, I'm going to still bubble wrap it for shipping. But yeah, that one sold for around 25 plus shipping. Zelda for Nintendo DS sold for around 27 plus shipping. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. It's probably a little too close. That's good, though. Uh, Super Mario Brothers, the new Super Mario Brothers DS game, sold for around 20 plus shipping, I think. And then Zelda Game Boy Advance sold for 27 or 30 plus shipping. So my thing with these video games is I usually I keep a console of each one so I can test video games out. So I have a Game Boy Advance that I've ne I'm probably never going to sell that I'm just going to use for testing these out that I get. Same with Nintendo DS. If I get multiples of the consoles, I will sell them. But I think it's a good thing to have a console on hand. Right now, I don't have a Sega Genesis on hand, and I have a bunch of games that I need to test. So, yeah, it makes it a little hard to guarantee their auth or not auth authenticity, but uh, guarantee they're going to work if you don't have a system to test them on. And I know there's other ways to do testing cartridge games like that, but I haven't invested in that yet. But that's it for sales to start out the week. Here are the sales for today, Tuesday slash Wednesday, I guess you could call it. Starting out with one Poshmark sale. Another one of the motocross jersey things sold. This one is MSR, I believe, is the brand. No, Max Air MSR. Yeah, MSR is correct, Max Air. That, along with the pants and the gloves, for 60 bucks on Poshmark. Poshmark is always plus shipping. eBay, Teen Titans 2, Game Boy Advance game for like $19. Free to me at this point. Two items that sold really fast when I listed them on eBay. TI-84, TI-83 Plus calculators. We got these at random garage sales. Finally got around to listing them. I think I paid... Actually, I got this off, I got this off Facebook Marketplace for like 10 or 15. Sold for 30, I think, plus shipping. And then this TI-83, I paid 3 bucks for that at a garage sale. I think I was on the way back from the... Um, whenever I went up to Pittsburgh last year, two years ago. <laughs> but I finally got around to listing it. Sold for like 30 bucks. Good eBay sale here. 90 bucks for this LOL bit. Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location plush. This was not an exclusive per se. At one point, Target was the only store that had it, but it didn't, it didn't say Target exclusive on it. But still, 90 bucks for that is really good. I probably paid 10 or 11 for that. Ed the Hyena sold for 38, and I paid like four for at dirt cheap for him. System X paintball jersey for 21 plus shipping on eBay. This Hanson Brothers little action figure sold for like 21 on Mercari with free shipping. Still sold pretty well though. 
Rudolph for like nine plus shipping. I might make a dollar on him. Evangelica sold for 24 plus shipping, I believe. Mm, this one's actually going up in value a little bit. I'm, we got one or two left, but I only paid like five or six for it. And last but not least, this Pokemon Coliseum GameCube game. Got this, uh, doesn't even have the manual, I don't think at least. Um, but I described it as like, I think I put it on e Amazon, is which it sold on Amazon for $123 plus shipping. I think I put it as used acceptable or used good because Amazon, there's no real way, real way to sell that, but I did test it. It did work. There's a little GameCube game. This came um, from a lot that I still haven't actually put the video out about, I don't think. But I got the GameCube and this game for like four bucks, I think. The GameCube was three, this was one. The GameCube sold for like 38. It didn't work, unfortunately. But uh, I did have another GameCube I could test this with. So 123 bucks for that. That's it for the what solds for midweek sales. Here are the sales for today, Wednesday slash Thursday. Starting out with some pretty good sales. Start out with Mercari. This glove sold for 56 bucks on Mercari. Cost about 10 to ship. And I think I paid like four or five bucks for this. Uh, Y'all just saw this in a recent video, I think. The yeah, Abita yard sale maybe is where I got this. I don't remember exactly, but I only spent like four or five bucks on this, maybe even a little bit less than that. Uh, this Ralph Lauren jacket sold on eBay for 50 bucks <clears throat> plus shipping. It's a little blazer sport coat jacket. Came from the recent store, one of the recent storage units. So hopefully y'all will see that video soon for that storage unit. Need to use a lint roller on it. Also on eBay, this little Clio Squishmallow 12 inch. It's from a while ago. Um, I actually sell the candy. You'll see the candy corn in a second. This one sold for 50 bucks plus shipping on eBay. Mercari, another pocket hose, sold for around $32. Um, like I said, I think earlier in this video, I paid 10 or 11 bucks for these. Finally got around to listing them. Sold one on eBay, one on Mercari. Also on Mercari, Zip Beanie Buddy sold for 16 free ship. Cost of like four or five to ship. So Beanie Buddies are better to me than Beanie Babies sellable wise at least two more sales on ebay tetris game boy game and super mario brothers deluxe game boy game these both sold this one sold for 19 plus ship this one sold for like 12 plus ship so two games there and there are in the little cases as well to prote help protect them moving on to amazon where i got like eight or nine orders going out these two caparines these are squishmallows obviously but they're bigfoot squishmallows usually bigfoot's a pretty good one to find these sold for like 32 plus ship, I believe. So yeah, good sales there. I think I paid 11 or 12 for those. Jacob sold for like 14 plus ship. Got him for five or six at Walmart. Fooly paid a dollar for her. She sold for, I think, $24.99 plus shipping. So good sale for that. Probably a good 15 to $20 profit for one little tiny plush that I paid a dollar for. Evangelica. This one sold for 48 plus shipping, I believe, somewhere in that range. Evangelica Squishmallow. It was a Valentine's one for this year, I believe. Um, anytime, usually, Squishmallows, the cowls, are the good ones with current ones. These are all older ones. I think Jacob's actually pretty recent. Jacob's this year. Caparines might be this year. This one is this year, obviously, but the cowls have, have a premium. Um, but Buzz Lightyear, I think I paid 14 for him originally. He sold for like 30 plus ship. You're not going to find any of these other ones in the store anymore. You're not going to find any of these, maybe. You might be able to find Jacob, but I wouldn't really. If you're if you're only an eBay seller, don't pick him up. He's not worth it. Uh, speaking of, Canon. <laughs> this is back when the Squishmallow, they used to do the tag and show the squad they were in. So like Cleo and Canon were in the same squad, <laughs> as you can see from that tag. Uh, but Canon sold for 72 plus shipping on Amazon. Clio is not on Amazon, so I can't sell Clio on Amazon. But Canon, I can. I paid like a dollar forty-three for this. It says twelve ninety-nine, but I got this clearance down for like ninety percent off at Walgreens. Back when our Christmas weren't super popular. Francis, this is a big one, sixteen incher, sold for seventy-eight plus ship. I think I paid four bucks. Walgreens had these clearance down twenty percent off at one point. Originally they were twenty dollars, and I paid four bucks for that one. Last but not least, Zozo, another Squishmallow, <laughs> another 16-incher. Uh, Zozo sold for 60 or 70 plus shipping. Um, these do cost like 14 or 15 to ship, depending on where they're going. Uh, this one, I think, cost like a decent amount because it's going to Delaware, I think. And then Francis is going to Alabama. So Francis didn't cost nearly as much as Zozo did. But yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, one more. Almost forgot it because it's over here. Uh, Castle Risk. This sold for 65 bucks plus shipping. So good sale there as well. This is a, some risk games can be good. This one's an older one, I think from the eighties probably, but yeah, I did count all the pieces and put them in the listing and someone bought it. So not a bad sale there either. And that's it for the sales for today. Here are my pre-weekend sales. 
excuse the hair and everything else I just got done with day one of my garage sale. <laughs> got some Amazon sales to go out though. Jean sold for like 20 plus ship, cost $10 to ship. So I'm probably gonna lose a little bit of money on that one because I paid 16 for it originally, but I'm getting rid of it. Gustavus again for 17 plus ship, paid six for him at Walmart. Sydney, first one of her, paid six for her. Same time I got Gustavus, I got her. Assuming it's a her. I think Sydney's usually a girl's name. So for 32 plus ship, little mushrooms are usually also decent sellers. Mushrooms, cows, Bigfoots, ones like that. And frogs sometimes. George, the Boston Terrier. I gotta save one of these for my parents. They love Boston Terriers. If you love Boston Terriers, leave it down below in the comments. They're crazy dogs. <laughs> but they're also so cute. So for 37 plus ship. Another dog, Dalmatian. Gustavus is also a dog, actually. Dalmatian Patch from 101 Dalmatian sold for like 28 plus ship, so I'll make a little bit of money for him. This Superman figure out of a recent storage unit sold for 16, free shipping. Not too much profit there, but it's something. Video games. Need for Speed Carbon for the GameCube sold for 9 plus ship, came out of one of the storage units. And speaking of storage units, Game Boy Advance games. These aren't games though, these are videos. So this is Shrek and Shrek 2 video for the Game Boy Advance. Did y'all know they made videos? You can actually watch movies on the Game Boy Advance? I had no clue. But these have been sitting in my inventory for probably two or three years now. Finally got around to looking all the video games up and testing them. Yeah, $108. $108 for these two. Sometimes you just never know with storage units and video games. I never knew that. Did y'all know that? If you didn't, now you do. Not all of them are worth a ton. This one, either Shrek or Shrek 2 is the really rare one. I think Shrek 2 maybe was the rare one. Um, either way, yeah, sometimes they can be worth a lot of money. You just never know until you look it up. Let's hope the weekend provides some really good sales. And I'm going to try and do some garage sale footage as well. Do y'all want a long garage sale video where I actually show the footage of the garage sale? Let me know down in the comments. Here are my weekend orders. I got 20 going out on Amazon, 14 going out on eBay, and then one on Posh, and then one or two on Mercari. Let's get started. First up on Amazon. Balana Cal sold for like 14 plus shipping. Um, I probably paid nine or 10 for this one, so I'm not gonna make much money on it, but I'm getting rid of it. Liv, I think I paid like 76 cents for her. It says 6.99, but I got her for 90% off one time at Walgreens for you know three or four years ago, back when they, uh, they actually had. You could get these clearance down for pretty good prices. Sold for like 18 plus ship, not much, but I'm getting rid of it. Um, Rye the Otter sold for like 12 plus ship, paid six. Got some small ones, Caden. And Caparine paid six for Caden at or five for Caden at Walmart and like two dollars for him uh, or for Caparine. Caden sold for twenty four plus ship. Caparine sold for like twelve. Two Squeezimals, Narcissa, the Narwhal, and Samantha the Sloth. These sold for around five or six each plus shipping. Paid a dollar each for those. Two Vanguard Bunga sold for like three plus ship. I paid a dollar, so still making some money. Fooly sold for twenty four ninety nine plus ship. Paid a dollar, so making way more money on Fooly than I am on Bunga. Evangelica Clip sold for around 24, paid five or six. Another Evangelica, the eight inch version, sold for 45 plus ship, paid 11 for that one. Serena, the Swan, sold for like 18, I think I paid 11. Make a little bit of money on that one. Monica, the Fuzzamello, they make, these are fuzzy Squishmallows. This one sold for like 38 plus ship, I think, or something like that. Doxana for 75, it's a Boba T Koala. <laughs> Paid, uh, I think I paid 16 for that one at Walmart. Paid five for Sydney. Sydney sold for 32 plus ship, I believe. The biggest Squishmallow and the best Squishmallow sale, Esmeralda, sold for 94 plus shipping, so right at $100 all in. Um, I paid 20 for this one at Walgreens. Two more Amazon sales. Funtime Foxy, or Funtime Freddy, sorry. Funtime Freddy and Bonnet. Bonnet sold for 94 plus ship, so I paid 11 bucks. Really good profit there. This one sold for like 15. Probably paid two bucks for that one. So making some money there as well. The last Amazon order, I think, is this Ultimate Spider Man. Came out of a recent storage unit, or somewhat recent storage unit, the one that had the piano in it that y'all probably won't see the video on because it didn't get much footage. I didn't get enough footage of it and I was just worried about that piano the whole time, so I didn't really do a good job of filming. But this sold for 33 bucks plus shipping. Probably still not in the profit on that storage unit yet because I spent like $600 on that storage unit. <laughs> Frankie, the new and into eBay sales. Frankie sold for seven or eight bucks plus ship i paid 65 cents for that at walgreens um ava these two sold for like 20 i think plus shipping on ebay paid 50 cents each for those probably this watch was out of a storage unit sold for 40 bucks i think the brand was get yeah guess is the brand so it's going overseas 
the other Super Mario Brothers Deluxe sold for like 20 or so, all in for 20. This little Cadillac Escalade sold for 14, free shipping, but that's just some profit there. One Mercari sale, this guy, <laughs> Cheshire Cat coffee mug sold for like 30 bucks, so good profit there. Uh, two Squishmallow sold on eBay, these weren't uh, available on Amazon to sell, so like 12 plus ship for this one, and I'm not going to make much money on it if I make any. This one's up for like 23 plus ship, cost 11 to ship, but I only paid 3 at Walmart, so I'll make more money on the combo, combo Panda. Kaylin, the Fingerling, sold for like 14, I think I paid 4, so I'm making a little bit of profit there. 14 plus shipping for that one. I've, no, I've added some shipping to mine, so it makes it easier to charge back on returns that aren't legit returns. Giannis, sold for 32, paid 5 at Walmart for him. Thanos Pop Tea for 41, free ship. I think I probably paid 25 or 30, so I'm not going to make much money on that. We got this Ole Miss. This might be the only clothing item going out. Ole Miss Sherpa, whatever you want to call it. It's Press Box by Royce Apparel. Sold for like 30 bucks, I believe. Making some money there. This got free free to me in a box that someone sent me. Uh, they bought it, got the items they wanted, and sent the rest to me. So this Care Bear sold for like 44 bucks. And last but not least, whoops. <laughs> this finally sold again. The Woodcock Johnson test of achievement thing sold for one thousand dollars now y'all remember you say that might sound familiar well yes it already sold for a thousand eleven hundred and five dollars plus shipping and then the person returned it because it they found a cheaper price elsewhere why they did that after <laughs> i had already gotten sent to them i don't know but either way a thousand dollars i spent zero at this point that storage unit hopefully y'all see that storage unit video if this actually goes through maybe i can actually make that storage unit video and add this in there but yeah that's it for the sales for the weekend overall almost 40 orders going out pretty good weekend i would say so don't forget to leave a like comment with your favorite sale if this one sticks woodcock johnson's gonna be my favorite we'll see though <laughs> and subscribe now subscribe thanks for watching